I want to discuss balkanization or cultural fragmentation. And for those of you studying intercultural history, it's known as Stalin's Divide. It's basically where a bunch of cultures fragment because some other outside source is forcing them to. Joseph Stalin ruled over much of Eastern Europe, but the cultures themselves were fairly disparate. Because of this, he needed a way to control them without them controlling him. To do this, he would emphasize one culture over another. He would give money, prizes, food, and other items to one culture and said that they were the good culture, the one that served him the best. And they often did serve him the best whereas the others were punished by not getting food and other perks and blessings. Keep in mind, when we say punished and not given food, we mean starved to death, put into racks, sent to prisons, sent to camps where they're expected to work until they die. These were his punishments, and his perks were to continue to live and have some power over the area. Earlier I explained that the police do not go into ghetto areas because the ghetto itself runs itself and do not need or want police protection. However, that doesn't mean that the police don't interfere in other ways. Instead, the police let the people break apart and promote gangs between them. Oh, I'm going to give guns to the white people, but not to the Puerto Ricans. I'm going to emphasize the the dark times for the Latino, but not the white person. These kinds of divisions, both gang and ethnic, creates a more capable of controlled area, unless it starts to riot. You may notice this in the riots. It's only covering black-led areas, or areas that black people are allowed into. In other words, if the people went into the Mexican or Latino territory, they would be killed instantaneously by the Mexican mob. Nobody would allow them to protest. Nobody would allow them to be there. Nobody would allow them to do anything because they are not the right ethnicity. Then we have Koreans defending their roofs from otherwise perfectly fine businessmen and people wanting to purchase items. Then there are Arabs firing out from their stores to make sure the rioters do not get in their way. This is not their territory. They do not come near them. They do not attack them. This is split up in ethnic ways. Probably best I not translate that. Even Sikhs, who are usually some of the calmest, nicest people in the world, are armed and ready to deal with anybody who crosses into their territory. So the next time you see somebody go, oh, well, you know, we need to protect these people, but not these people because they're the enemy. Remember, you are falling for a divide. You are falling for an ethnic fragmentation. Somebody is trying to make you emphasize one group over the other and then stand off in the suburbs and watch it all.